so this is it. I swear on everything that is holy, that was not on purpose. The box is new and slippery and it just fell out of my hands. I just watched $700 just hit the ground. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you stay a while. My name is Brielle. Um, this is an exciting video to click on because I have tons of announcements and tons of fun things to share with you guys. One of them being that I am almost at my one year mark of doing YouTube. Shameless plug, if you aren't subscribed already and you watch my videos, it would mean the world to me if you subscribe. It's my 2020 goal to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. How cool would that be? A year on YouTube and I celebrate with a thousand subscribers. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy my content. Something that's true to me is I like to start a lot of things but then maybe not continue them or finish them and especially on social media it's hard to not like give up or stop doing something when you don't see results I mean even with working out that's uh, something I don't do and I've tried starting multiple times working out but I you don't see results right away so I'm kind of like meh I'm good but this YouTube channel is something that I have stuck with I think I've missed a few episodes here and there but this is something that I've stuck with weekly, every Friday, posting videos for almost a year. When I first started this channel, I didn't imagine quarantine and 2020 being the way that it was, that obviously, like everyone's years, kind of got flipped on its head. But another little exciting announcement that I have for you guys is I will be doing Vlogmas this year. So YouTubers vlog from December 1st to December 25th. So the 25 days of Christmas they vlog every single day. I will be doing my version of Vlogmas, which is the 12 days of Vlogmas. Rather than one video a week, I'm gonna be posting three videos a week. So because I'm a stay-at-home mom and I don't have an editor, I'm not gonna be doing every single day because that's absolutely insane. This is like kind of like dipping my toe and stepping into the Vlogmas world without throwing myself in and drowning. I did my research and I ended up finding out that two of my favorite YouTubers, Aspen Ovard and JC Marie, they happen to be friends, they both use the same camera. I love how their videos look. I think they're absolutely amazing quality and obviously it's not all about the camera. I'm gonna have to learn the settings and really go through and learn how the camera works. I can't just turn a camera on, hit record and just expect it to look amazing. Ooh. So this is it. I swear on everything that is holy, that was not on purpose. The box is new and slippery and it just fell out of my hands. I just watched $700 just hit the ground. Why am I the way that I am? I swear you guys, that was not on purpose. Like I'm tearing up. Cool, love that, love it, wow. It's fine, it's good, I'm sure it's great. <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Let's just do a little replay so you know I wasn't acting. Oh, this is it. I swear. Let's open it! I'm so excited! It just dropped it on the freaking ground. Okay, cool. Anyways, Canon M50. <laughs> yeah. So, the camera I got is the Canon M50. The lens. So, this guy is tiny. I'm going to show you the camera I'm shooting on right now, but it's a point and shoot, which means it doesn't have like a re... What is that? I just said reusable lens, but that's not what I meant to say. Like a detachable lens. I do plan on getting the 11 to 22, I believe. So I plan on getting it, but right now this is just the lens that comes with it. This camera, after tax and everything, was over $700. But the lens that everyone suggests is $400 itself. So, um, I'm going to be waiting, let my bank account kind of refill itself, and then I will be <laughs> making this purchase. Okay, here she is. Okay, this is much lighter than I thought it was going to be. This is so much lighter than I thought it was going to be. But what I like about this already is the fact that I can flip the screen around. So right now you can't see the screen obviously, but that protects the screen and that's amazing um, because my camera now does not have that. So it's <laughs> pretty scratched up after a year of use. Ooh, oh, it's beautiful. So then which way does it turn? Oh, it does not turn that way. Don't keep turning, bro. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I love that it has like 
here where you like put your hand obviously it's grippy mine on this camera is very smooth so I like that it has a grip to it I've never had a camera that has a detachable lens so let me kind of figure this out so I know from Taylor's stuff that you put the white dot to the white dot and then you click oh, beautiful. so this is the 15 to 45 millimeter it's just what came with the camera okay okay guys I'm gonna turn it on Change the battery pack? That is baloney. They don't send you a full battery? Cool, okay. So, <laughs> I'll be charging the battery and then we'll try this bad boy out. All right, so about an hour later and now it is charged. I've got a SD card in it. I am all set to go. So, I got the little road mic on there. It also, eh, okay, I lost it, but it comes with one of those little furry things to help with wind, but we're inside, so we don't have to worry about that right now. I checked the mail, and my little mini tripod arrived as well. So this is from the brand Manfrotto. Sure. My first thoughts are this is really, like, stable and steady, and it's not very heavy, and you can just easily, bam, and now it's a tripod. Okay, let's turn it on. Let's really test it out now. I'm nervous. I'm excited. Okay, here we go. Obviously, I need to take the time to read the manual, figure out what settings I like the best, and I'm also going to go and get LUTs. So if you don't know what LUTs are, it's pretty much like a filter for your videos to make your videos look better. So this is it. What do we think? Quality difference. Camera A, the OG, and camera B. So it's super wide. I'm going to zoom in now, and I apologize in advance. It's the time of the month, so it ain't going to be pretty. But now I can just go whoop and zoom. Versus like the other one, I'd have to like hold the little button down and it'd go ee -ee 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 to zoom in. And what I like about this one is so far, this one seems way more steady. So the weird thing about this one is the viewfinder is on the side versus that one, the viewfinder is a flip up. So I can kind of look at the viewfinder on the other one and it kind of plays off and it works. But if I look at the viewfinder at this one, I'm literally looking way over here and it's like, mm -hmm, where are you looking girlfriend? Let's do a little switcheroo. Let's put the brand new camera in the glorified spot on the tripod and I will break down my OG equipment for you guys. Okay, so first of all, look how much wider this lens is. That is nutty. First thoughts, it looks really dark in my personal opinion. And I think Part of that, so right now it's on like auto exposure. Taylor is gonna kill me with the incorrect ways I'm saying this. It just looks a little too dark for me. The sun is starting to go down, so I've gotta head to my appointment quick. Um, which by the way, I have a hair appointment today. I'm switching it up, we'll talk about that when I get in the car. But anyways, so let's talk about my original vlogging equipment that I have used for this past year. This is a Lumix, her name is Lola. Um, this is what you call a point and shoot camera. So it has a flip up viewfinder. So honestly, 99.9% .9 of the time I'm recording the videos, this sounds so vain, but I was just looking at myself in the viewfinder, which now I'm going to have to adjust to that and talk to you guys more and be looking right at you. So the viewfinder for my new camera is over here. So if I'm looking at the viewfinder, you can clearly see that I'm not looking at you. I absolutely loved this. I think this is a great starter camera. It was really easy to learn and really easy to use. And I love how like compact it is. I would just throw it in my purse. And then if there is a moment when I'm out and about, which is rare in 2020, that I wanted to vlog, just pull it out, turn it on, and literally you're good to go. Like, good to go. So right now, what I am noticing in the viewfinder, I was trying to look at you guys more, is it's really like either getting really bright or really dark. How the lighting is changing so fast, especially you can see it on the boards behind me more than anything. Okay, that's gonna drive me nuts. Okay, well that is something that I'm gonna have to learn and figure out because I don't want it to be like strobe light flashing at you. The other thing that I have used a ton during my first year on YouTube was this guy. So I believe, so it's the brand Joby, J-O-B-Y. You can actually take it and like, like curl it around things. Like so if you're filming and there's not really like a flat, um, like table or something for you to film on. This is really nice and I'm gonna continue to use this with both cameras. This one here is actually only 20 bucks. Might as well, if I'm already upgrading my um, camera, might as well try a new tripod out as well. 
I will let you guys know what I think about this stuff. These two have been my tried and true. Most of the time I do use a giant tripod when I'm filming like my try on haul videos, etc. But I will link all the stuff that I've used this past year down below. So I definitely need to sit down and learn this camera more. And as I do, hopefully the quality of these videos will improve. And I'm really excited to keep continuing this journey. So thank you so much if you have this is not the end of the video. It sounds like the end of the video. It's not the end of the video. So thank you if you've been following me on this journey so far. Thank you for your support. And now I've got to jet out the door, as old people say, <laughs> um, because I'm actually getting my hair done. So if you've been following me for a while, um, a few months ago, I did, when salons opened back up, I did safely go back to the salon to get my hair done. It had been 11 months since I had gotten my hair done. So it definitely needed some help. I chopped it off like a little bit longer than my shoulders. I have very exciting news that I will be announcing later in the vlogmas time. I want to look fresh and not have grown out roots for that. So I'm going today to get my hair done and just freshen it up and put some more blonde in it. And this is the before of my hair. Right now I've got more of a balayage and now I'm going to go to the salon. That's what we're going to do today. Freshen it up, do a little trim, and I'll see you guys at the salon. Um, I'm here. I'm at the appointment. I have... Oh, two minutes. My clock on my car is wrong. Okay, so normally I go like six to eight months without getting my hair done, but because I have this project coming up, Blonde Brielle is gonna be back in action. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Blah, 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 blah. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And I'm home. Um, many, many, many hours later, I have extremely thick hair, so it literally takes like four hours to get my hair done. As Demi Lovato would say, this is the real, this is the me. Um, it is late, so I am not putting in the effort to set up all the lighting and make my bed and all that jazz. So here is the look of my hair. We are blonde, we are back. Um, and my arm is getting tired holding this thing. Holy crap and only, this is a lot heavier than my other camera. I definitely have a lot more blonde in my hair now, so I'm excited to be back to the blonde side. I think it's where, where I belong. <laughs> um, I am going to edit this video and then head to bed, but I just found out while I was getting my hair done that I was emailing back and forth with the people of the project that I'm gonna be working on, and they want me on set on Sunday. It is currently Thursday, so that is only like a few days from now. Um, I thought I wasn't going to be on set until next Thursday, so a week from today, and now I found out it's going to be a few days from now. So, um, I am extremely excited. Um, it is a couple hours away from my house, so I will be driving up there. So be sure to follow along, you guys. I will be sharing behind the scenes of this project, and I'm so excited to take you guys along with me. If you guys liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys very soon. Wish me luck on this acting gig. I am so excited, and it's seriously the biggest project I've worked on in my my career thus far and yeah I don't I'm just flabbergasted right now but anyways I hope you guys have a blessed week and I'll see you guys for my next video bye